paired or unpaired student t test in excel student t test for two set of samples that are dependent or paired or related in excel the paired t test is a parametric test that can be used when there are two samples or two set of data and these uh, two samples are paired there are certain assumptions that have to be fulfilled before using the statistical test the first assumption is that the data in each sample is continuous and the data in each samples is normally distributed and the difference between the uh, pairs is approximately normally distributed between the two samples and finally there is no outliers in the difference between the paired samples here in excel sheet i had inserted a data for 50 participant and the objective of this study is to investigate the effects of a novel drug in lowering systolic blood pressure so 50 participants were recruited to this study and their systolic blood pressure were measured before administering the drug i.e in untreated variables so the untreated variables has the systolic blood pressure before treatment for each participant and the same participant then given the drug and then uh, the systolic blood pressure was measured so this data here are paired data or paired samples as the same participant participate in both measurement pre-treatment and post treatment to find out whether there is a difference uh, uh, between pre-treated and post-treated and whether the drug can lower the systolic blood pressure then here we will use only paired t-test as the data here or the two groups or the two variables are paired and the assumptions for performing the test has have already been checked to do the test click here on the data and then click on the data analysis if the icon is not shown here then install the icon for data analysis the way to do that is to click on file and then click on more click on options and then click on add or add ends and then uh, on the manage section click on excel add ends and then select this analysis tool pack and click on ok and an icon will appear here if you click on the icon here a new window will appear and uh, several options are available for uh, statistical tests scroll down to the uh, option for t test paired two samples for mean if you click on ok a new window will appear here and it, it shows that the test is a paired t test and we need to import the data for the variable one select the um, scores for the untreated and for variable two select the scores for the treated and for the hypothesized mean difference set it as zero as here the null hypothesis states that the difference between the mean for the pre uh, 
uh, to the post is zero or there is no difference in the mean on the alternative hypothesis states that there is a difference between the mean for the two set of data and then select the output option uh, on output range by inserting the uh, output of the analysis in that area here and then click on ok uh, table is generated as shown here in the table it shows that the mean for the first variable is 154.2 and for variable 2 it is 146.1 so from this initial observation the mean for taking the drug is lower than the mean for the group or the participant that have not taken the drug so the drug has lowered the systolic blood pressure a variance is also given for both uh, variables and what is important in this table is the t statistical value which is 3.7 and a p value is given for one tail and two tails and in our condition we will stick to the two tail as we are looking at the differences between the two set of data and as shown here the p value is less than 0.05 so this mean or means that uh, the drug is effective in lowering the systolic blood pressure and the systolic blood pressure for those who have taken the drug have a mean of uh, of lower than the mean for the systolic blood pressure for those who have not taken the drug and these observation are statistically significant uh, as the p-value is less than 0.05 student t test for two independent or unpaired or unrelated samples in Excel. The student t test is performed when there are two groups of data and the data in each group should be normally distributed and the variances for both group should be equal. So the student t test is a parametric test and two major or main assumptions that have to be fulfilled to use the student t test the first one is normality distribution of the data in each group the second assumption is the equal of variances in this excel sheet i had inserted a data for two groups the first group is the male group and the second group is the female groups. The height for each participant was measured in centimeter and uh, the score is reported here. To find out whether there is a difference in the uh, uh, height between males and females, then the student t test will be performed as we have here uh, 50 participants in the male group and 50 participants in the females groups and the uh, normal distribution for each of this group has been tested and the data are normally distributed and there are uh, two classes of student t test uh, student t test with the equal variances and student t test without equal variances before performing the statistical analysis the student t test i will perform a few steps the first step is to look at the descriptive statistics for each group and to do that you need to click on the data and then click on the data analysis then a window will appear and have a pre-installed and preset a few statistical tests one of them will be descriptive statistics click on that and then tick ok 
and a new window will be generated and to look at the descriptive statistics for group male group first of all select the data here the whole data for the male group and then select the output option and let's place it somewhere here and then tick on summary statistics and click on ok a table is generated showing few parameters for this data the mean the standard deviation and the variance the mean for the male height is 169.4 and the variance is 110.5 to perform the same analysis descriptive statistics for the female or females group click on data analysis click on descriptive statistics click on ok and then select the range of the data in this case for the females and then select the output options to place the descriptive uh, statistics and then keep the summary statistics ticked on select this cell for the output and then click on ok a table for descriptive statistics is produced and from this table the mean for the female groups is 160.4 and the variance is 86.07 from this initial observation there is a difference between the mean for males compared to females and the males have a higher height compared to females based on the mean but yet it is not determined whether the, this difference is significant we could also observe that the variance for the male group is 110 and the variance for the female group is 86. To determine whether there is an equal variances or an unequal variances, there are two ways. The first way is to use the roll of thumb and the roll of thumb is based on dividing the variance value for the highest or the highest variance value for the group divided by the lowest variance for the second group and if this ratio is less than four then there is an equal variances and we can presume that there is approximately equal variances here if we divide the value for the largest score for the variance by the smallest variance and it is 1.2 so it is less than 1.28 less than 4 so we could with confidence say that these two groups of data have an approximate equal variances the other way to determine whether there is equal variances or not just before doing the t-test is to click on data analysis then scroll down and tick the and select tick and select the f test for two samples for variances click on ok and then select the range for the input for variable one in this case is the male male uh, group and for the variable two range which is the female or females group then select the output options and let's place the output in this cell here and if we click on ok a table is generated as shown here 
and it shows the mean for the first group, the mean for the second group, the variance for the first and the second group, and it gives you a ratio, F ratio of 1.8, 1 1.28, and a P value of greater than 0 0.05. When the P value is greater than 0 0.05, then this indicate that the two variances are approximately equal. So, so far we have checked that these two groups of data have equal variances. Then the next step is to do the student t test with equal variances to determine whether there is a significant differences between the two groups and the way to do that click on data analysis and then scroll down and select the uh, options or the statistical analysis which is t test two samples assuming equal variances Click on OK and new window appears and then insert the input for the first variable range, which is the male variable, uh, and then the second variable range, which is the female, and then select the, uh, yeah, here we need to insert the hypothesized mean difference, which is zero. So the null hypothesis states that the difference between the male mean is equal to the female mean or the difference between males and females mean is zero. And the alternative hypothesis states that the mean for the males is different from the mean for the females. And then uh, tick on the output options and select a place to insert the uh, output analysis. And if you click on OK, a table is generated as shown here in this area and with certain parameters are given. And uh, if we just enlarge this, as shown here, the t-test for two samples or two samples assuming equal variances the mean is given here for the first group, the male group, the female group, the variance for the male group and for the female groups. And the degree of freedom is given here and the T statistical value is generated, which is 4.5. And from the mean here, we can see that the uh, males have a higher height compared to females and also the table gives here a p-value for one tail and for two tails and in our case here since we are looking for differences then we will stick to the two tail uh, p-value and as shown here the p-value is less than 0.0001 so it's less than 0.05. This p-value indicates that there is a significant difference between the male height compared to female height.